So you mastered leveling the bed. Congrats. I'll bet you glad that mystery is over. So what's next? Let's get that printer calibrated, dialed in, and take your prints to the next level. A poorly calibrated extruder is going to give you bad prints. It may be over or under extruding that gives pretty crappy results. He gets it. In some cases, there's just no indication that the cause is just an uncalibrated extruder. It's not near as scary or complicated as it might sound. It's simply making sure that the right amount of filament is being pushed into the hot end by calibrating the extruder motor value for your printer and get it pushing plastic. When we talk about extruder calibration, we simply mean checking to see if the extruder is pushing out the right amount of filament. We're talking about the extruder itself, not the hot end. The extruder E-steps, or E-steps as it's more commonly known, should be one of the first things done to dial in your printer and recalibrate it when you replace any part of the extruder, such as replacing the extruder spring, the hob gear, the tension release arm, or upgrade to a new extruder, and in some cases, changing out the SD card for your printer. Setting the E-steps should be the first thing you do in any of those cases. And while you're at it, either clean your nozzle or replace it. This will show you how your printer actually does with your E-steps calibrated. I'll see pictures on Facebook and Reddit of people looking for help because their prints look heavily under extruded, the armchair engineers almost always chime in with their chance of just go with the stock E-steps and dial your flow back to 92 or 93. Are you freaking kidding me? I'll bet these guys have a few internet posts somewhere whining. My prints look bad, how come? Well, probably because he's a moron that didn't calibrate his E-steps. Now let's get started. The first thing we're gonna need is some tools. The first one being a set of calipers. You can get these online or any hardware store. If you don't wanna use the calipers and you happen to have a metric ruler, that'll work. Make sure it has the millimeters on it. You're gonna need a pair of nippers. You got a 3D printer, there's a damn good chance you got a set of these laying around. Now for me, I like to use this little handy tool I made. I just call it an E-step stick. I'll put a link down in the description on where you can download this and print it yourself. It comes in pretty handy. And you'll see why as the video progresses. If you've been to Thingiverse or one of the other sites, and happen to see this type of measuring stick. It's a pretty nice looking stick. It's got all the markings for the millimeters. It's broken down by the tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, so on. Um, it's got a nice little trough for the filament. It looks nice, but the problem is, if your printer is not calibrated, this isn't gonna help you any. Just on this one here, the markings for uh, the increments look to be about maybe half a millimeter, maybe three quarters. And then you're supposed to be taking a Sharpie. This here is a fine point. Well, even with a fine point Sharpie, it's pretty fat. So this, in combination with this, you can be off as much as two millimeters. I say, get rid of the damn thing. Yeah, I got them. So, let's get down to it. The first thing we're going to want to do is get our hot end up to temperature. So, we're going to prepare preheat PLA, and we're going to only heat up the end. The extruder will not extrude unless it has temperature to it. And through the magic of video, we'll get there quick. What we're gonna do now 
is disconnect our Bowden tube. The first thing we'll do is remove the little blue retainer clip from the coupler. We're going to push back on the white part and pull off our tube. The next step is we're going to go ahead and do a flush cut right against the coupler. That's all there is to that. Now we'll go back to our control panel and we're going to feed some filaments. We go to prepare, move axis, extruder, and we're going to extrude 100 millimeters, what the printer thinks is 100 millimeters of filament. This will take a while, but with the magic of video, we'll get there quick. do now that we have our filament extruded, we're going to do another flush cut, same spot, right against the coupler, the best we can. And I'm going to put that right down, and I'm going to put the printer back together. I'm going to push the Bowden tube back in all the way, and put the retaining clip on, and now let's go measure. Now that we have what should be 100 millimeters of filament extruded, we're going to take the filament, we're going to take this little e-stick, at least that's what I call it, I'm going to go ahead and drop that in the trough just like that, I'm going to slide it so it's up against the stop on this end, and also on this end. And then I will turn the knob to tighten it up, I'll let that filament go, I don't need it anymore. We'll take our calipers, we'll make sure they're zeroed out, and we'll measure the distance between the two stops. And I'm getting 98.34. An alternative way of doing this is if you're using the metric ruler, is to just take your ruler, and it's best if it's laid flat on the table, and you can lay that right along the edge and try to measure it out, but you'll never get it perfectly flat up against it, which is why I like the e-stick. I'll put a link down in the description on where you can download it and with assembly instructions. Let's see how we calculate this out. Now what we need to perform our calculation is we need to know what the e-steps are. So we'll go to control, motion, steps per millimeter, and we see that they are at 93. So we'll need that for our calculation. To figure our E steps, we're going to take 100 divided by the extruded length times the machine value. In our case, it will be 100 divided by 98.34 times 93, making our new E step value 94. 0.569, and we'll round that up to 94.6. Now that we know what our E-step value should be, we need to enter it into the printer. So again, we're going to go to Control, Motion, Steps per Millimeter, down to our E-steps, and we're going to turn that knob until we get to 94.6. Remember, we calculated 94.569. Since we can only go one decimal place, I'm going 94.6. We'll press the knob to set it. We'll go back to advance, back to main. Now we've got to store it in the printer. So I'll hit store settings, and there you go. Technically, we're done, but we're going to go ahead and just double check by turning off the printer. And now we're going to turn the printer back on. And we'll go back and check that by going to control, motion, steps per millimeter. And there we have it, 94.6. Congratulations, you've done it.
I hope you found this information useful. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. Hit that like button, smash the bell, be your own hero, and live your life one layer at a time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.